Welcome back to Guitar Breakdowns. Today I'm going to be doing Biffy Clyro Spaces. Uh, and if you haven't seen a previous video of mine about how to play great songs with just two fingers, I recommend checking that out because this is a perfect example for that. Um, it's in standard tuning, but capoed at the th third fret. It's going to be referring to the frets as though that's fret zero going up. So let's get into it. So the great thing about this song is the majority of it is played on just the A string and the B string. So we start off up here, so if we walk up from the capo, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seventh fret on the A string and eighth fret on the B string. Then the same shape, two frets up. And then you go up again but this time there's a two fret difference between the fingers. So it goes. And then down here to the third and the fifth. So that slowly. And then down to second and third. And then the low E string on the third fret and open B string. So that through slowly. Then it walks up from there, so same same chord here. Then open A and open B. Then third fret and uh, second fret and third then third fret. So walking up. We've got third and fifth. Back down again. And then to the very first chord we started with. So that through slowly. And then you start introducing this open G string, which I'll demonstrate for you now. So then we get to the bridge, and this is just two chords. So the first one is 5th fret on the A string, 7th fret on the G, and 7th fret on the B. Which is like a D major and then it goes to an A7 which is played open A string up from the A string so open fifth sixth fifth and then open and that's strummed so the two chords together are Hi everyone, please excuse a brief interlude. I uh, hope you're enjoying the video. Uh, there's a ton of great more content on my channel, so please head on over there. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share with anyone you know. Thanks. So then we get to the chorus, and the first chord is a C, which up from the A string is played third, second, open, third, third. So, and then a G, and then a regular D and then it plays like a B minor chord which is played from the A string upwards is second fret open open third fret so the chords all the way through are C G D So then we get to the midsection of the song, and that starts with an E minor, then a D, then an A minor. And it plays that through twice, and then it changes. And then we play a C now, instead of B minor. Back into the chorus. 
So a great song, really lovely. Uh, it's pretty simple to learn, but there's some interesting chords in there and different techniques uh, for you to get your head around. So I hope you found that useful, and I'll see you on the next one.